Hello everyone, <clears throat> my name is Agent Citro, and today I want to bring you a different video. This video is about the Hot Wheels Highway 35 and Acceleracers sets that were released from 2003 to 2005. Now, back in 2003, Mattel, to celebrate 35 years of Hot Wheels, released Hot Wheels Highway 35. And it came with this movie as well. Hot Wheels Highway 35 World Race. It was the first Hot Wheels feature-length movie. came out in 2003. And with this, you have... It was a movie about 35 uh, cars, well, 35 drivers that were selected to race in what was called the World Race. Here's the full list. And basically the story was that there was this, this big wheel called the Wheel of Power. The thing has a lot of energy and stuff. It's like alternative energy sources and they gotta go get it. So this dude named Dr. Tesla hires basically 35 people go drive these cars for him and he sends them in to go and find the wheel for him. So anyways, uh, after the movie came out, they had the Highway 35 toy line which came out and it had a high quality die cast models of all 35 cars and they were split into the teams. You have the Wave Rippers, the Street Breed, uh, Road Beasts, Dune Rats, and the Scorchers. Each of these cars are themed in a different way. For instance, the Wave Rippers were a uh, like a surf style team. And the Street Breed, which is the uh, purple one right here, is more of the exotic sports cars that you'd see. Kind of like your Lamborghinis and stuff. The Road Beasts were more suited for uh, driving in... Close to off-road scenarios, it's kind of like one of those driving in jungles and stuff. Uh, the Dune Rats, those are the ones that are suited for the deserts and the Scorchers for uh, volcanic uh, environments and stuff. So anyways, towards the end of 2003, uh, one of the Hot Wheels exclusive clubs called the Red Line Club, uh, people could buy this set right here, the 2003 limited edition world race complete set. This set features all 35 cars plus an extra 36 car, which I'm gonna show. Only a thousand of these sets were made. This is number 60 out of a thousand. And to get it off, first have to take off this. Oh gosh, you have to take off this uh, plastic here. It's a little plastic wrap that goes around it to hold it in place. And this set features all 35 cars in the box, new, plus a extra 36 car, which is called Z36, only featured in this set. Got to open it here. So here it is. You got all 35 cars. Plus the extra 36, see? Limited edition 1 out of a thousand. This is Z36. You got the team leaders here. You got a Ballistic, Crazy 8, Dior 2, uh, Slingshot, and 70s Roadrunner. And along the same time that this the movie was released in these cars, you also have Hot Wheels World Race for the PlayStation 2. This game features most of all the cars that were in the movie. However, it could not feature all of them, such as the Dodge Charger, the uh, Chrysler Thunderbolt, and what was another one? The Corvette Stingray, because they were licensed cars. They were based off of real world cars, and they, the game studio did not have the license to make the cars. So they had to use an alternative alternative instead. Also, uh, some cars, such as uh, the Wild Thing, featured a design that was difficult to model inside of a game for the time, 2003. And they ended up replacing it with a different car model. I bought this set 
a couple years ago for $460. And that's actually pretty cheap, considering this thing is one out of a thousand. Get all the cars new. These cars by themselves can also go for up to what works to about seventy to eighty dollars a piece. And some of the most expensive ones are the Corvette Stingray. Uh, Vulture is pretty expensive, and Side Draft is also pretty expensive too. It's in the back. Now, in two thousand four, Mattel release this game. This is Hot Wheels Stunt Track Challenge. It's the spiritual successor to Hot Wheels Stunt Track Driver. And this game featured uh, a lot of the same assets from from World Race. Uh, used the same engine as World Race did. Featured many of the same cars. See, there's Ballistic. There's a 24-7. And you can see that here. This Ballistic and focus on it. Yep, there's ballistic and 24/7's way down at the bottom, and the light's pretty low, so it's not gonna. The camera's not gonna see that at all. So, anyways, for Highway 35, you got the movie and pretty much two games. Like, even though Stunt Track Challenge wasn't part of the Highway 35 uh, series, I consider it part of that because mainly uses the same cars. Looks almost the same, anyways. And they both have the same mechanics for both the two games. They're obviously made off of each other. No wonder this one came out a year later. Uh, it cuts development time when you have to just, you know, copy over a few assets from a different game. So anyways, 2005. And Mattel comes out with Hot Wheels Acceleracers. Now this is a series of movies. You got the first one called Ignition. i show the back. And... Basically, the plot of Acceleracers is that the Wheel of Power that was recovered from Highway 35 fell into the wrong hands of this uh, robot person. And she uses the wheel to uh, power her robot army, and they're trying to take over the world. So, Dr. Tesla hires some of the people from World Race, and some new people as well, to go and stop them. And you have this movie, this movie too, Speed of Silence. Yeah, you got a uh, breaking point, and you have the ultimate race. I got all of these movies. Shoot, I got all these movies back in two thousand five, and in the year two thousand seven, Mattel released this. It's a game. Hot Wheels beat that. Now it wasn't exactly about accelerators though, but it did feature some of the cars, like this one for example. This is the that's the 2006 edition of Spinebuster. Now, from 2005 to 2006, Mattel released uh, many different models of the uh, Excel Racer cars, which all of the cars were specifically designed for Excel Racers. Most of them appeared in the movies, however, not all of them did. Cars such as Drift Tech and uh, Power Bomb were not featured in the movies whatsoever. Now, when this uh, also, because of the Red Line Club, they also have this. This is the Hot Wheels 2005 factory sealed set. Comes with all the cars that were uh, released in the main line of the... Uh, all the cars that were released in the main line series for Hot Wheels toys of the year 2005. There are upwards of 220... Actually, yeah, there were 223 cars released in this set. Here's the front of the box. There are hardly any pictures of this on the internet. Comes with all the different uh, series. You got realistics, drop tops, blings, torpedoes, and x-racers. Now on the other side where it gets interesting. By the way, the artwork on the other side is the same as this. It's just flipped. You got more of the Regular cars, you got the track aces, uh, some of the cars that will not be featured in later years. That's called the Final Run series. If camera would focus, you can be able to see that. Yep, there it is. And you move forward down, you see this. Acceleracers, huh? Acceleracers released in 2005, and the cars that released in 2005 were... Uh, the, the paint scheme was based off of how the cars actually looked in the movie. However, in, when the year 2006 came around, 
they stopped making Acceleracer movies, even though that the fourth one ended on a cliffhanger. The reason for this, I'm not entirely sure. Pretty sure there's some sort of reason behind it. And uh, the 2006 cars were not based off what the movie, uh, the cars in the movie were. They were they featured different paint schemes that were not seen in the movie. However, a few of them were. Now, this set right here was released towards the end of 2005 and was only manufactured up to 500. However, the 2003 set was released up to 1,000. The 2005 one only went up to 500. And some things that people like about these is that these include the Treasure Hunt series. And see, all cars that came in this set feature the uh, a holographic sticker that says Factory Sealed 2005 set. If I can focus on it. There we go. Uh, never mind. My camera's just being special. Anyways, these cars, the Treasure Hunt cars feature rubber wheels. You can't see that because the camera's all focus. Here we go. These wheels are made out of rubber and features uh, chrome, chrome rims. This is the uh, Volkswagen Drag Bus. Pretty expensive sometimes. The set cost me $700, and it's still relatively cheap for this, so there's only 500 of them. And this is number 416 out of 500. There's a sticker on the other side of the box, which you cannot see. So anyways, you open this up. This is the first time, shoot, this is the first time there's an opening of this on the video. Kind of open it sometimes. Take out this styrofoam. Side. And inside you get these boxes. You get six boxes, they're all stacked up like this. And each of these boxes include a different part. Now this is the most important box of the whole entire set. This is what makes it actually worth a lot. Inside this box are all 36 Acceleracer cars sealed, mitten box. And there they are. These cars were all released in 2005. However, some of them, such as, if I can grab it, Chicane here. Yeah, Chicane was not seen in stores until the very end. Now, the reason for this is that uh, during 2005, a lot of stores got overstocked with some of the first wave series such as baseline i think that baseline was pretty common i remember seeing that a lot of stores ratified was very common too except i never bought one back in the day and shoot cars such as uh chicane and reverb reverb's back here somewhere now don't grab chicane grab that car this blue car right there that's reverb and reverb was one of the later cars that was released in some of the last waves and you didn't get to see that in stores that often. And those cars, you can't even find those on eBay really anymore. The last time I checked they were about a hundred something dollars. And that's only one car out of this whole entire box. And I didn't even bother grabbing out the rest of the five boxes that were in here. So you got three boxes. This cardboard lifts up and underneath it, there's about three more boxes. There's six boxes total. That's why it says box one of six on the side. And all of these cars, especially the Excel Racer ones, are neat because they also have the factory sealed holographic sticker on the side. Which is why these are so expensive. Even though you can't even find a normal reverb or chicane because for one, shoot, not a lot of stores have in the first place. And two, they stopped producing them in the Acceleracer uh, paint scheme. So, Acceleracers and Highway 35, I'd say they're about the best that Hot Wheels has ever done. Very 
they're just very notice notable. Like after you had a uh, world race, you had Excel racers, and from there they didn't really do much. They had Battle Force Five, but it wasn't too popular. Uh, the cars weren't worth as much as this. And then you have Team Hot Wheels, which just no one really liked. Makes them some money, but Accelerator is just the best out of the whole series, I think. Well, thanks for watching this video. Hope you learned something about collectible Hot Wheels today. And how much how much money I spent on this. Pretty expensive. Ooh. <laughs> this has been Agent Citron. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.